Hey guys, Paige here. In this video, I'm going to share with you how you can add comments in Figma. So in order to add comments, simply click on the bottom panel under the comments and uh, or you can utilize the keyboard shortcut C. And at this point, you can leave a comment anywhere that uh, you desire. For example, change this uh, to a button and uh, you can also use uh, the at in order to tag uh, anyone within uh, your organization so for example over here i just uh, tagged uh, an individual and uh, i can also add the emojis directly from uh, here and uh, also there is the mention tool which is what we just learned about with the tag and you can also add uh, an image within the comment so i'm going to submit the comment uh, i'm going to bring it uh, around so you can see how you can easily change uh, the comments uh, and uh, i'm going to copy and paste uh, this uh, image and i just copy it as a png and at this moment i'm going to paste it uh, within uh, this comment and uh, as you can see i can add uh, uh, change this uh, and i'm going to post it and the actual uh, image is here. I can also reply to a comment with uh, an emoji and uh, you can also mark this uh, as a red. You can copy link uh, to the comment. So if I actually go ahead and select the comment section, you can see that here are all of the comments uh, which uh, has been added. So this is a comment history. I can search through the comments uh, and uh, I can also organize and sort them by date, uh, sort them by unread comments, so the ones that haven't been tackled. I can also show resolved comments that have already been tackled, uh, only threads or only on current page instead of the entire Figma document. Uh, and uh, you can also hide the comments and uh, uh, adjust the comments notification from here. So if you want to receive a comment notification for everything, uh, this is what you need to be checked. If it just mentions to you and replies, maybe it's a design file with a lot of other designers, so you just want to keep the mentions in mind, or if you don't want the notifications at all, you can select it from here. So I hope uh, this uh, video was uh, helpful. If you want to learn more about Figma, I have over 100 videos entirely for free. So feel free to check them out and I'll see you in the very next video.